What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be diving back into Audio Modern's Core Jam. Now, if you don't know, I recently reviewed the whole VST. I'll link you to that, okay? But other than that, today we're going to just be straight loop making or beat making today. So, I already got Core Jam opened up, but I wanted to save this part for you guys to understand. So, when you're using Core Jam, you're going to put the output on one, and then whatever VST that you're using, you're going to come here to this little wrench tool, and you're going to put the input on one. So, Core, core Jam doesn't come with sound, all right? It doesn't come with sound. So, you have to trigger it until you get that sound out of it. So, now if I'm able to resize it just like that, whatever sound i have hooked up to the vst it controls it all right so i don't want you to get confused thinking, where thinking oh where's that sound all right all right but before we go into this make sure you hit that like and subscribe button hit the notification bell so you can get any video upload to the channel all right and you can follow me on instagram hw floss all right let's get right into it so we're talking about easy ways to use core jam to make loops all right if you're in 2021, you know that loop and uh, making loops and collabing is a great way to make placements and it's all the rave. Everybody's trying to do it. So you might as well join the party. So to make it easy, we're going to put C minor. So we're in the scale of C minor and um, the chord, we can either do a minor scale or we can do something, you know, real hard or real, you know, something that you wouldn't be able to do on your own. So that's what I like to use it for. And so we're going to use M7 add 11s. All right. So we're going to come up with a chord. Now, if you don't know, you open up this sequencer. You're going to turn the sequencer on right away. If you want the robot to make, let's say, a chord progression for you, we can turn this on and then we're going to hit this button right here. So this is what it came with. Let's just see how it sounds. All right. And then right away, we get a good one. Not every time that it generates a, a random chord progression are you going to get a good one. So we would come over, of course, put it in, and voila, we have a chord progression. All right. We're ready to roll. Now, this one's a little short, so I would want to extend it out. Okay, no problem. So we're going to go back into Chord Jam, and right here where it says Steps, we're going to make sure we put that all the way up to 64. We're going to trash this one and we're going to create another one. And that way we have the new chord progression. And we can see if we like that. All right. So right away, we could already start making loops by layering this one. But something I don't like about this. Okay, so I don't like that one, so I would want to make sure we got the correct bars, and then I might want to take that one off and extend that one. So let's see how this one sounds. And we can move that one right on over to Electra X. And now it's extended out. And of course, I'm going to mess with it just a little bit. Bring this one back over and take this one like that. All 
Okay, so that is just a quick way off the off the the bat that you thought, okay, we're using this as a chord progression, all right? Let's see what else we can come up with to make it easy on us. And we can change the sounds. We're going to go back in the chord jam. This is the computer. Remember, this is just we trash it. And then we just oh, just pop in another one and you can also randomize it here. Before you come up with new chords pretty dope pretty dope pretty dope and that's just the computer generated one that's not us going in and beautiful chords by the way when you go to the m7 add 11 let's go m7 add 13 let's trash it let's just randomize it beautiful chords So you can really come up with some creative loops by layering. And let me just show you from scratch what we'll do. Okay, so that was one way where it automatically generates it for you. But let's say we want to do it from scratch and come up with our own loops, have more control over it. We're going to turn off the robot and we're going to do the human form, right? <laughs> So whatever loop that, or I'm sorry, whatever button that I push is the last chord that you'll have. And I know how to read. So it's one, two, three, four bars. So listen to. You can even turn this down just a little bit and it automatically locks in. I'm gonna delete that one. I like I like that one better. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's see how that sounds. Okay, so, so far so good. And you can just play with them because they're all going to be in key until you find something that you like. So I kind of like that. So I would take that and drag it over to Electra X. So now I have this chord progression. And I don't know what key it's in, right? But that's okay. We're going to move all of this over. And let's see how it sounds. Okay, so it sounds good. I'm going to extend this out. And then the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to clone it. And this is usually how I make my beginner loops to send out. I'm going to find a new sound like an ARP. We'll find an ARP because the ARP, we can always layer that if we find a, a good one. And what I usually do is I take off the first half. Sounding good. So we have to go back into Core Jam because Core Jam is creating, it's controlling Electra X. So we just got to get rid of that because we already got the chords that we need. And then get rid of that. So we already got the chords that we need. We're going to bring that up here. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds 
sound and fire so far and then what I like to do is I like to open up scalar 2 because I'm gonna use them together I'm gonna use the best of both worlds and just use this as a backup to make sure that I know what key I'm in now of course chord jam tells me that I'm in C minor but I have a M7 add 13 and when you add chords and special chords it gets tricky about the key that you're in so I'm gonna put it in scalar and if you have easy keys you're able to do this as well and I'm gonna put on the detect just to just to you know can't be too sure and sure enough it has a flat Lydian which is also a detail or a relative scale of C minor so I'm in the right mode all right great 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 tools to use okay so I also want a little lead going through so now that I know definitely that I'm in C sharp I can open up melody sauce or I can open up arcade and I can just add one extra thing to give the the loop a full 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 sound so we know we're in C minor we're gonna go slow we're gonna go up an octave or even down an octave and just get some ideas going all right and we'll come to matter of fact we're going to heat up and we're going to go to some flutes turn it down some and then just move it over <laughs> I like I don't like this middle part and if you just want me to keep on going I have some MIDI right here to finish it off classic trap snare goes right there uh, classic kick classic hi-hats <laughs> But let me know what you think. Do you like this workflow? It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Just showing you a little bit, a little way to make Core Jam easy in the work process for you. Once you get these loops, it's so easy to make your beats. So once again, check out Core Jam. I'm going to be using this. I think it's an excellent tool to add with Scalar 2 or Easy Keys or Captain Chords if you got it. Let me know what you're thinking. Shout out to Core Jam Audio Moderns way of answering the bell keeping people on their toes i would love for them to add sound that's the only knock the big knock that i can see is them adding their sound but let me know you can do a robot you can do it or you can do it hands-on you you picking the sounds or the chord progressions for yourself shout out to chord jam let me know in the comments what you think will you be using chord jam by audio martin <laughs>